The first step on this in the Porsche 987 is uh, taking the grill out. Uh, what we are trying to do is get that cover out of there. Uh, so this is the first thing that we have to remove this outside uh, grill. For the removal of the the side grill over here, basically what I have found through the web is that there are two tabs on top over here of 116. But the instructions say that try to reach down through here and pull it down, which is really hard because there's no space there. So I grab into this edge with both of my hands and pull downward and outward and I was able to disengage those tabs. Still, it was a really hard to do it. So you have to use a lot of force. The reality is that this plastic is really strong. I don't think you will break it. Uh, but keep in mind that you're gonna have to pull down really hard into it. And then, you know, pull into the outside. Uh, you may be able to see the little tab there and there's another one on the front. And I know it's already disengaged. Then, uh, based on the instruction that I found, it was telling me to pull down on this second tab over here, down. Uh, but I found that for this specific grill, there's two little tabs on this one uh, when I was looking down through it. And the problem is that it's really hard to get them, those down out just by pulling it down because this part over here has some uh, rips that goes into this fence and they are flexible as well. So when you pull down on it, uh, it really is not disengaging those two tabs that you have there. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So I have that tab there and there's another one there. And you can see you have to find a way to pull that tab up because that is very flexible and you won't be able to get it out. Uh, so I was thinking that I would have to go through the back. So guess what? Uh, they thought about that. These German people are pretty good. They have this little uh, let me see if you can see it. There's a little lip on the back side and that's why it is there. Uh, what you have to do is pull down on that lip uh, and that will allow you, right? If you pull down on it, that will allow you to create the gap. Uh, so you just have to put your hand in on that rib there and you will feel that you have a little uh, lip back there and you just pull down on it so that it will create the gap that you need. Um, you may have to put some type of support over here where you are pulling down on that. Uh, but it came out very, very fast. So it shouldn't be a problem. So now I have to figure out the one on the bottom part. And I think there's a tap there as well that I believe is the last one to take it out. So I have get to the point where I have the upper out and I also have this one out. It looks like the only thing that is holding it is on the bottom part and what it is saying is that you have to push down on this one while pushing this while pushing upward this guy over here uh, but for some reason you know I have used a lot of force on it and I can't take it out it seems like there's something else holding the whole grid on this side uh, I can see that there's a little tap there but I can see that it is disengaged so I don't know why it is it is not coming out uh, so I'm gonna try to find out and let you guys know but there's something here that is holding on maybe it's because it has never been removed or something like that but it is really stuck there okay guys it is out oh uh, my god I have to I thought I broke it because I really have to push very hard on it until I couldn't get out and now I can see what was going on so you have this uh, little engage on the bottom one uh, and what was happening is that, as you can see, the last rib has a tab in there. So the hole is actually, you know, a design probably for the mold. Uh, but the tab is much more, much bigger and it's on the inside. So you really have to push down on this a lot to make it work because there's no way you can reach in there. Uh, 
to pull this little plastic hole right out of here while this rib is in there. So I just pull on it from the top hard, as hard as I could and keep pushing from the top as well. And then, you know, we pop out, nothing broke. So, but I really have to use a lot of force. So don't be afraid of pushing it hard as soon as you have the one from the top. Now you can see the little lip that I was talking about. This one over here, when it's inside, you just have to push down on that lip. Uh, you can put your hand in and just push down on that lip and you will see that the ones from this one will disengage and they are on the bottom part. There's one there and another one there. And these are the ones on the top, which are probably the easiest ones. Uh, this is a nice moment to clean all this up. Uh, I was thinking even of painting these guys black and then removing this magnetic strip. Maybe it looks cool. I have to check. This piece over here is one of the easiest one. You'll have four taps, one over here, one there, and two over here. And the only thing that you need to do is just put a screwdriver in that tap there and just give it a little twist and pull out on the plastic uh, for all four positions and uh, it should come out easily. So this one seems that it's going to be the easiest one because you can clearly see that there's some tabs here that you just have to push back and then the part will come out and you will have one over here, one there and uh, one over here, one over here. So just, you know, push them back with your hand and grab into the ledge over here and you shouldn't have a problem removing that part. Uh, it's even coming out my hand. Uh, this should be the other one. I need my other hand, but uh, there it comes. So you can see this one shouldn't be a problem at all. They actually bring the whole thing out. Uh, that's why I will have to check on how to remove it from there. It seems like it is engaged on the back side somehow. There it is. Uh, let's see this. So uh, it has some tabs on the back side for support. And this is basically what I'm guessing the guys remove uh, for the this knuckling. The whole idea is this cover basically, you know, is avoiding full airflow into that uh, piece over there. Uh, so if you remove it and put the grill back in and, and you know, cover it with something so that uh, I'm trying to do like a mesh in here just to avoid anything else to going in there but it should sound different they say that for this specific card it doesn't the sound is not that different so this is the final design that i ended up doing for the dish snorkeling of the porch 987 uh, i have used this pattern before on some of the design that i had done in the past so i think it looks nice and i Put some tabs over here so that it could attach to this part over here. I started creating this profile over here uh, just so I can test it before uh, printing the final one. I could test the fit and uh, as I mentioned before I have created these tabs over here to attach uh, to this part and I was playing around creating some of these and right now the 3D printer is working through the final one. Uh, I'm using an Ultimaker tool to create this. Uh, and I'm using the PLA. You can do that on uh, ABS material as well if you want. We are at the final stage of this uh, change over here. Uh, you can see this is the part that I'm planning to use uh, to cover that intake there. Uh, so I'm gonna try to take some pictures. Should be easy now. I have some tabs over here to attach to it and then we will just have to fit this guy in there uh, to start.
there it is guys uh, just make sure that you press on the back side while putting that piece in there uh, because it has a little angle to it so I found out that it's a little lower on this side than on this side over here uh, so make sure you press on it this is the end of it it's a really easy mod to do so you shouldn't have any problem at all uh, and I really like the way it looks the mesh in there so it looks nice yeah, it's a really easy project to complete so don't be afraid of uh, doing it.